Welcome back to Ripping Lips Adventures. My name is Randy. I'm here with my buddy Brett Blumenthal from Blumenthal Guide Service. We are coming off the water after about a seven hour trip out of Deepwater Bay here on November 5th, trying to find that fall walleye bite, that famous fall walleye bite. And I'd say they aren't quite there yet, but we got six good ones at least and uh, we found a few here and there in about 30 mile an hour wind gusts and 20 mile an hour winds 43 degree air temperature and about a 48 degree water temperature so stay tuned you're gonna love it I don't believe the numbers of fish that I was finding on every single spot. You make it like Tom Bowley's video where he was talking right to that one guy. He misses the old Tom Bowley videos that had way more instructions and screenshots. All this video was was two people fishing. Just for you, I'm going to do nothing but screenshots. And at the end, he's like, I could go and catch some of these fish, so I'm not going to bore you with any fish catches. We'll just end it here. Monster. <laughs> What's up, fisher people? <laughs> we are uh, out for one more day. Ripple and I. And it's windy. So we don't have a lot of places to go, but uh, we, we're not going to get skunked. We're not going to get skunked on November 5th. One good jig wrap bite so far. Hanging out in the bay right now. I don't know if we can get out of the bay. The wind's supposed to switch a little bit, so maybe as the wind switches, we'll have opportunities to go other places. But as of now, this is where we are, and we got one. Stay tuned. All the pressure's off now. Yep. Skunk's gone. No skunkage. The ice was broken. Let it rain now. I mean, Metaphorically speaking, don't actually rain, that would suck. Yeah. There's like a chance of rain now at one o'clock. Is there? Like a hundredth of an inch of rain for a few minutes or an hour. I need that one vertically. Maybe I should slip back a little bit. Turn more on top of the spot instead of casting on it. It's the smallest fish I've caught in like two weeks. In 25 feet, huh? Sure looks like a situation the guy ought to be able to catch some good fish, doesn't it? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we've got the whole lake to ourselves. Pretty much. No competition today, Randy. <laughs> Rock and roll. Mostly roll. It's just good to be out. It's just good to be out. <laughs> Last day of the year. I don't even know if I can feel a jig bite right now. Almost half a jig wrap. I don't know, can we get to that south shore? I don't know, that one coming right now. <laughs> Look at this one here. Holy cow. That white cat. Wow. That's a good one. It'd be a slow ride, that's for sure. The only thing... The only thing saving us right now is that they've got such a wide wavelength yeah. between them. Yeah, we got some room in there. Like, I think my boat would actually be able to be out here right now, too. It's just... Yeah, I think you could sit here and not die. Feel your jig? I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping it's on the bottom. That's what I was just waiting for. Is that a quarter ounce? I think so. It could be an eighth. I don't remember. Eighth might be tough. I'll jog over a little more and then we'll just look at something else, I guess. <clears throat> oh, another fish down below. Looks like another little guy. Might be the same one, you know. Yeah, I think I'd throw a minnow on there if I were you. Yep. Is that what you're doing? Minnow or a jigging route. Well, I can go home now. I caught a fish. Yep. That's all I needed. Good little 14 incher for dinner. Oh yeah. It's kind of how it started with Brandon that time too. Super slow, and then somebody caught a gold eye, and then somebody caught a little dinky walleye. And then like 11 o'clock, they just kind of started showing up. Right here. I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing, but there's parallels so far. Yeah. If you go that way now, you can drift home if you need to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're going downwind the rest of the way. Or even if it starts switching more to the west, we could, it'd be a lot easier to get across if there's a west wind to get across the slides than it is to get down there. It's a lot shorter distance. Took a little water that time. Sure did. <laughs> Might take some more right here. Holy cow. Ah, we're gonna be good. Had enough separation between the two. Mm -hmm. I got the kicker and I got my big motor both idling and I'm going like 1.6. I don't know very far to go to get to this little point, but it's sure it's taken a while. <coughs> yeah, it's quite the wind. We'll plant it like right there. A little forward once in a while. Whew. That's a wave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Joik, Scooby. Wind feels colder all of a sudden. My face is starting to burn. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get to the south shore. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, the waves will get smaller the closer you get them. They will. But these are definitely the biggest waves I've ever been in. We needed to move more to the west and then they'll get smaller here. And then we could get across over there. I've actually, I've surfed waves this big before. I believe that. Yeesh! <laughs> that was good, good stuff. Go left. Now I see like three fish to the right where I cast it. Just get had some a bite. Dead on the jig. On the dead stick, yeah. Oh shoot! I'm 
thankful for a windshield. Yeah. I don't know if I could do a tiller. I don't understand that at all. There'd be so many days where you just be like, I can't do this. I don't want to be fishing right now. Yeah. I mean, this wind break, it's just, even when it's not really super nasty out, it's just a nice... Yeah, it helps a lot. It takes it down a notch. We'd already be wet. We'd be yeah. cold. The wind would be blowing on you while you're wet and cold. Yeah, well, whatever these fish are, I hope one of them bites. He's not getting any help from the algorithm, apparently, because you'd think people would watch that. Need a net? Need a scoop? That's a walleye. Nice. <laughs> That's a totally off the beaten path walleye. <laughs> oh, you could have used a scoop too. <laughs> That's a good walleye. So we got like way out of the wind here on a sand flat, 15 feet of water. <laughs> Marking some fish, and I kind of figured we're all looking at smallmouth. Well, there probably are some smallmouth here, but. 117 inch walleye with him. Jigging a minnow. Surprised the heck out of me when I got the bite. <laughs> it's like, heck, where did that come from? That's awesome. If we can catch walleyes in this spot, I'll make my day. Shocked the hell out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I set the hook expecting a bass and I started reeling in like it's not really acting like a bass. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, that's a walleye. <laughs> I don't know if all the fish I'm marking here are walleyes, but if they are, there's quite a few. Just trying to get out of the wind, huh? Let's do that again. I wanna get one on a paddle tail here so I don't have to worry about putting my hand in the minnow bucket. That would be nice. Hey, another boat. What? Wow. There are other like people a, crazy it enough. It almost looks like a flat bottom hunter boat, it doesn't, doesn't it? Look, yeah, it doesn't look like a typical boat, but... They're fishing. Pretty crazy. Hashtag tiller life. I don't, now I'm starting to think it is calming down, honestly. It looks a little better. I mean, I don't know. It's not a lot. God, I really wanted to catch like five walleyes right here. It's like a totally different day all of a sudden. My mind's a little clearer. Another mark down there. Bite. Fish. Should we run out there and look? Sure. must have tried to grab it and not like what he saw. I would think they'd have a hard time holding that spot in that boat. Maybe they can do it. They're just slowly but sh slowly going back. If I can even grab like five fish in any one area, I'd be willing to drop on that at this point. That'd be enough. Just show me a few fish, come on. There's gotta be something here. Oh, they're about halfway there now. Could have done without the rain. Yeah, for Sorry. sure. Hard to say how long it's gonna last. Shouldn't be too long, but I might try to go this way for a little while. Yeah, we can find fish over here. We should be able to be on this side all day. We just keep working that way so that by the time we go to deep water, we're going downwind and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna grab further down that way, see if we find more fish in there. Our two boats are gonna meet in the middle and neither one of us is gonna graph anything. Is that Jeff? Is it a Vexus? That's what Jeff has. Get snappier with it maybe? I don't know. More 
aggressive. Fall bites on. It's really on. We're crushing fish. Really fun. The heat is on. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da. You know that song? Yeah. Glenn Fry. Oh 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 da 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 we're probably gonna have to go further down here and get more into the wind. I would have thought between the last three spots we hit, we could have caught like one or two fish. Not none fish. Double, double, double pop. <laughs> bite it, fish. Just something. Bite. Frickin' November, for crying out loud. How long are you gonna wait? Yeah, it's a total weather thing for sure. Finally got a third one. It's on the line anyway. We'll see if it gets in the boat. Boat flipper? Cause I don't know. Feels like a boat flipper, but we'll see. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was afraid of that. It never fought. <laughs> so much for that. Dang. I just assumed it was a lethargic little 15 inch walleye. Well, she did bounce. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. There's a mark in the bait down there, it looks like. Must have had some sort of a bite on there to make it look like that. Oh, well, yeah. Something happened. Drive around, look for one mark, stop right on it quick. It's either that or we try to find a different spot with a bigger school of fish. Or we just try to catch every single one we see on the graph as we drive around. Ah, it's starting to rain again. I thought that was done. Why can't that be done? I was good with the rain being done. These guys aren't ripping it very high, are they? No, I've been kind of playing around with that too. Just like shorter little things. I don't know, I've been trying a lot of different cadence stuff. And I haven't really found the answer yet. That does seem to work on tougher bites where you just kind of barely pop it off the bottom. I want to see that one big tank back on the screen again. You know, there's actually some spots further down that way that I've seen. I even I went in there yesterday and caught one fish down there and grabbed a few that I feel better about. Yeah. If we don't go up here into the wind more. We'd have to come back up here this way when we eventually go back to the bay, but I at least want to go down there and see if there's still some fish around because this spot sucks. It's raining more. Stop raining. It's like the heaviest rain so far. It's not yeah. heavy, but it's uh, the most we've had so far. It's raining pretty good here, but uh, we got into some decent fish. Shallow here. And uh, Randy missed three bites and then finally got that one hooked up. It's been tough to get them on. 20 inches, huh? Biting pretty finicky, I'd say 20. Nice right? work, Randy. I like how you're like, there's another one. I'm like, when are you going to set the hook? <laughs> Just waiting for him to chomp it all the way, right? You can get those along the back. There we go. I knew I had a pickup there, but I didn't know for sure. <laughs> I was just going to give it some time. Taking it off the bottom is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They only want your jig. For one reason or another. I really do think it's the... The pendu? The pendu thing, keeping it out of the mud. You know, it's... Uh, Gotta be something to it. 
I mean, it is a nice uh, 18 incher. Nice looking fish, too. It is a nice looking fish. Could be a, a model. Yeah, I just gave it a little bit of time. I felt it. Kind of like just let it eat it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely been one of my favorite jigs. I, I used it at Devil's Lake, and it's pretty much the only one I use here now. Purple and white, the little gold eyes. So what a difference the jig makes currently. So we're fishing this spot. Earlier in the day, I got a couple fish, one on jig and wrap, one on jig and minnow. They're popping it though. Here, we're rocking a bunch of fish, like 15 to 20 feet. They're not popping it. They're literally just picking up off the bottom. I'm using the old DMC short shake hammerhead. Randy's got the pendu jig. Randy's had, what, nine bites, 10 bites to my one? At least. To my none, I should say. Or no, I had one bite. You had one. Granted, he's only landed three fish, but it's just a super finicky bite. And they just seem to be picking it right up off the bottom. The way that jig works, the hook's allowed to kind of swivel inside the jig head. So it should kind of keep the minnow floating up off the bottom a little bit. So if they are just picking it up off the bottom, it might stand the minnow up just a little bit. Give them a chance to grab it, whereas mine's land flat if it's not up in the air moving. If they don't want to chase it in the air and they want to grab it off the bottom, they got a better shot with the pendu jig, maybe. In which case, maybe like a Ned rig could make a lot of sense. I don't have any Ned rigs in the boat right now, but. But until we go to a different spot, whatever I'm doing seems to be futile. That seems to be the only thing that can at least get some bites and get a few fish in the boat. It's also a quarter ounce versus my eighth. I don't know if that has as much to do with it right now because we're both trying to keep it pretty much on the bottom and just barely dragging it. We're not popping it, we're just crawling it along the bottom. So, I don't know. Different jigs can mean different things, can do different things, can catch fish better than other jigs. That's the moral of today's story. If I were fishing here by myself, I'd have been gone a long time ago. It'd be pretty funny if I got one on the dead stick. If I caught one while you were just watching me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing there like cross armed or something just like <laughs> that yeah that would be good. If it was a more of a guaranteed bite, I would try to do that. <laughs> I think we'd be standing here for twenty minutes though. Yeah. It's definitely here's another one. Here's another one. Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> I almost got the hook set on camera. Uh. Randy waited for that one to eat for a long time and I almost got the camera on. I knew it. I knew it was there. Yeah, you gotta wait for him forever to get that minnow in. I just just <laughs> felt him. <laughs> what a difference a jig makes. <laughs> yeah. Wiping the floor with me. I can't even get a bite. Yeah, it's a little one though. It is a small time, one. But... but it was still fun mm -hmm. to feel him. I felt him take it, knew he was there, let him eat it, set the hook. This kind of bite often does happen in cold water. In the spring, a post spawn bite or in the fall, we got 48 degrees now in this spot. But usually they're a little more aggressive by this time. You got another pendu jig? Yeah, this is the same exact one I got. Got on right there. See, let's see if it actually does something. It would be something. If you get into them in the spring, really good like late May early June I can just get to a spot see a bunch there's of one draft there's one Turn on the camera. Uh, it was light as yeah, tiny I don't need a net fish. no net needed no net needed he says so uh, what's he getting bigger 
snow. <laughs> There's a white bass. Tiny white bass. It's a bass. <laughs> <laughs>